to the right circle. Here's a centering pass. McGrath, shot, and somehow did not get through. Rebound, Pettick, then it's out of the net. Could not get into a yawning cage. Gillette stopped him again. What a move, sprawling from post to post. Another example of the athleticism of Tanner Gillette as he stays square, square to the puck. It didn't take Tanner Gillette long to make an impact on the AJHL this season. Winning his first 10 consecutive games, Gillette became the league's first player of the week, its first player of the month, and most recently he was named the first star of the entire Canadian Junior Hockey League for September, beating out thousands of other players nationwide. He says a quick start was always top of mind. A little bit disappointing last year, ending in our losing in the first round so obviously went over went home worked hard in the off season once uh came back this year expecting a big year and uh obviously it's it started off well but i think he's also matured a little bit you know as you get uh, to your 20 year old year you realize that this is your last crack at junior and if in his case if you want a scholarship um you know you've got to be ready so he's done his work this summer um you know very good conditioning wise and then came in and just seemed uh, more confident about uh about having a good year and making sure that he gets those opportunities to, to go further. It's Gillette's third year with the Barons and his second as the number one goalie. His head coach says the tough experience of playing with an inexperienced team in front of him last year was a valuable one. Yeah, I think it was. I, I think for any goaltender, the first year we were a very good team. He didn't face a lot of shots when he played. Didn't have the pressure of being number one. When you have the pressure of being number one on a team who's average, like last year's team, or has to overachieve to win hockey games, uh, the pressure falls squarely on your shoulders most nights. Uh, so I think that's helped prepare him. Uh, if you ask him, I'm sure he'd say it's still tough when you're only seeing 18 or 20 shots a game, but uh, that's that maturity. You know, at 18, I'm not sure he would have handled it the same way. He understands that he has to keep himself sharp for, for when we do make those mistakes so that he can come up big. You don't want to just rely on a solid D Corp and team to be able to win games and stuff. So obviously being able to play with some less experienced guys gave me more experience in the process and uh, learned, uh, I picked up a trick or two obviously communicating with new guys and figuring out how they play and being able to work with them. So yeah, that was obviously a, a big part of the goal I am today, it turned me into this. Uh, you know, we had a couple scouts tell us at the showcase, he looks like nothing's ever going to beat him. Uh, and that's a great look to have as a goaltender. Gillette's the only player left on the Barons who also played for them two years ago when the team won the North Division Championship. He says there's definitely a difference going from being a rookie to someone who's looked upon for leadership. It's obviously been fun, a little bit of ups and downs, obviously. But, you know, it's, it's nice coming in two years ago, not really knowing the ways and then having such success in that year and then obviously just throughout my career here leading back to this and hopefully we can go just as far as we did two years ago. Uh, if anything he's keeping them a bit more level-headed than uh, some of them would be. Um, so yeah, it's always nice when your goaltender is the calming influence. Uh, you can settle down your defense and a couple of rookies there can make mistakes and it doesn't end up uh, costing you games and that's probably the biggest key right now is that when we are uh, going through those five or seven minute spurts where we're not quite as good. Uh, he settles that down for us. He makes sure that we don't pay, you know, giving up too many goals and gives our offense a chance to get back on track. Last year, Gillette said his first Barons team had a quiet confidence that it was always going to come away with a win on any given night. He says this year's team is starting to develop that same quality. Uh, definitely, we're starting to, starting to get there for sure. Obviously, starting 10 and always unbelievable so obviously that silent confidence comes comes with that but yeah it's definitely getting close to what it was uh two years ago and his coach knows that come playoff time the value of an experienced consistent goalie can't be beat well i mean let's face it that's the biggest part of any playoff success is that you have to have that component it's not many teams that win championships with average goaltending uh, you need great goaltending and we feel we've we've got that we still got a lot to achieve we gotta keep going keep getting better every day so uh, just not get complacent.